it's a heat wave with alert days in the forecast this week. Meteorologist Dana Volton shares what you need to know right now on the weather patio. It turned out to be a really nice Father's Day for us this afternoon. Sunshine and comfortable temperatures, a little bit above average, but again, not too bad for a Sunday. Hopefully you were able to enjoy this weekend because things look quite a bit warmer outside as we look ahead to the next few days. Right now, our breeze is coming in from the southwest. Temperatures overnight won't drop much more, landing in the upper 60s. Overall, the wind speed is expected to be about 8 to 15 miles per hour, so enough that we'll, we'll notice it as we look ahead to tomorrow. Temperatures for Monday and for Tuesday will be in the mid to low 90s with heat index readings expected to climb to the upper 90s, possibly even to the low triple digits. The rest of your 10 day also looks quite a bit above average, but those two days definitely our hottest days and definitely the most humid afternoon. So because of this, we have alert days in the forecast now for Monday and for Tuesday. Hot and humid outside to start off the work week with heat index readings close to 100. We'll take a closer look look at the rest of your work week and when we might see a little rain to, to break up this heat pattern in just a few minutes. All right, thanks so much, Dana. Four people accused of attacking a UW student on Tuesday night have been arrested. Madison police say this incident took place at around 1015 when the student was walking alone on West Gilman Street. That's when authorities believe the four men punched the student to the ground and then continued to beat the student after. These suspects, one of which was only 15 years old, did not take anything from the student and didn't say anything to him either. This incident appears to be similar to several others that happened near the downtown area recently. Recently, and police believe that these four suspects could be linked to all of them. Some sad news out of Jefferson County tonight where a 14 year old boy was found dead after going underwater at a pond. The sheriff's office says the boy was swimming in the pond at the Nature's Villa when he went underwater and could not be found. There were crews from 12 different agencies who searched for this teen for most of Saturday. And when the search began this morning, the boy's body was found at around 8.30 a.m. Officials have not released the boy's name yet and they wanted to send their thoughts and condolences to his family. An 80 year old man was found dead in the Pecatonica River on Saturday, according to law enforcement. Deputies were sent out to a boat dock Saturday morning near West Milwaukee Street after a caller reported seeing a body floating in the river. First responders were able to recover the body of John Michael Flanagan, who is from Argyle. Authorities say that no foul play was suspected. The January 6th hearings resume on Tuesday. There are just three more sessions to go. Elise Preston shares a preview of what's coming. This week, the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack plans to show former President Trump was involved in a plot to get states to name alternative slates of electors following the 2020 election. We'll show evidence of the president's involvement uh, in this scheme. We'll show courageous state officials who stood up uh, and said they wouldn't go along with this uh, plan to either call legislatures back into session or decertify the results for Joe Biden. Congressman Adam Schiff will lead Tuesday's hearing featuring testimony from Arizona House Speaker Rusty Bowers, who says President Trump asked him to change the state's law to choose different electors. And Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger will testify he was pressured in a phone call to find more votes. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have. At a rally Saturday, former President Trump reasserted that the things he did during and after the 2020 election were perfectly fine. Word for word, this phone call could not have been better. Committee member Zoe Lofgren says the Justice Department will decide who, if anyone, gets prosecuted criminally. But she says Congress can act to make sure electors are protected in the future. The Electoral Count Act was violated, but we think we can tighten that up so it's less susceptible to abuse. Representative Adam Kinzinger, a Republican on the committee, believes President Trump is guilty of seditious conspiracy, and he recently received a written death threat against him his wife, and his five-month-old baby. There is violence in the future, I'm going to tell you. And until we get a grip on telling people the truth, we can't expect any differently. Former President Trump has already threatened to overturn the 2024 election if it doesn't go his way. 
Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. And you can watch CBS's special report on the hearing. It's going to be right here on Channel 3 Tuesday at noon. Travelers are facing more misery with airlines canceling thousands of flights this weekend. Flight Aware reported 769 canceled flights on Sunday, nearly 860 Saturday, and more than 1,400 cancellations on Friday. The cancellations are being blamed on rough weather, staff shortages, and infrastructure challenges. The increase in delays and cancellation comes just days after Transportation Secretary Poop Buttigieg met with airline CEOs. They met to discuss ways to improve performance and operations ahead of another expected surge in travel over the 4th of July holiday weekend. Today is Juneteenth, a day to commemorate the end of slavery in the United States. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas, with orders to inform residents that the Civil War had ended and to tell enslaved African Americans they were finally free. The message came more than two years after President Abraham Lincoln had issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Many began celebrating the date, but it became more mainstream once Texas native Opal Lee started a movement to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. I apologize about that. Known as the grandmother of Juneteenth, the 95-year-old campaigned on the issue for decades. She even held a two-and-a-half-mile march each year to commemorate the two-and-a-half years it took for slaves in Texas to learn that they were actually free. In 1980, Texas became the first state to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. And in 2019, President Joe Biden signed a law allowing the rest of the country to follow suit. Thousands of people came out for the Juneteenth Street Festival in Milwaukee. It followed the city's 51st annual Juneteenth Parade. The festival included more than 400 vendors, plus several live art and musical festivals. Milwaukee's event is also one of the largest Juneteenth celebrations in the country. It's remained for decades helping people celebrate the biggest moments in life like holidays with families, weddings, and even new life itself. Now a church in Lafayette County is celebrating a milestone of its own. Members of the Darlington United Methodist Church gathered Sunday morning for a service of rededication and renewal in honor of its 175th anniversary. For many, the special service was a chance to walk down memory lane. Well, it's always special. It's always special. I mean, I had uh, a lot of Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving and, uh, you know, Easter and other holiday celebrations here and anniversaries and birthdays. We would come back all the time. Church leaders say that what makes their community unique is the generations of families who have remained committed to one another. They credit that for the commitment that they've been able to remain strong in their core beliefs through the decades of change. Today at the Mallard, Madison Mallards game, there was some special celebrations for fathers and their kids to spend some time together on the field for Father's Day. Our Catherine Merck spent the day at the game and has much more. For a lot of dads, the best way to celebrate Father's Day is this type of home. Absolutely, right here, America's pastime, right? What's the best part about being a dad? Uh, every day is a new day and a new challenge, and just coming out and making new traditions like this is a blast. At Sunday's Mallards game, families got a chance to spend time with their dads on the field, bringing the game of catch to the big leagues. The best thing about Father's Day is uh, some baseball and uh, dreaming about watching my daughter play some softball this coming week. When thinking of your dad, the memories are different for everyone. Why do you love your dad? Because he lets us do sports and do fun things, and my mom's more strict. <laughs> but for these families, the best dads show up, cheer loud, and always step up to the plate. In Madison for News 3 Now, I'm Katherine Merck. Now to New York, where a father is just thankful to have his life back this Father's Day after receiving a triple transplant for a new heart, lungs, and kidney. 40-year-old Steve Quinn suffers from a rare disorder that causes the immune system to attack the lungs and his kidneys. He received new kidneys in his 20s, but a few months ago, he started having shortness of breath. Doctors said that his heart accumulated a lot of calcium over the years, and the pressure inside was so high, it began to damage his lungs. Quinn got a triple organ transplant transplant in March, a 13 hour surgery. He said that the recovery was really tough, but now three months later, he's doing great. This is going to allow me to see her go to kindergarten for the first time and do like donuts with dad and daddy daughter dances and stuff like that. And it's just, it just fills you with so much love. Quinn says that he is thankful for the gifts of another family gave him to be there for his daughter. 
Next at 10, how a Dane County dairy farm is using technology to keep their family's legacy alive. Their story when we return. Your spirit is stronger than your highs and lows. Your creativity can outshine any bad day because you are greater than your bipolar one. And you can help take control of your symptoms and ask about Vralar. Some medicines only treat the lows or highs. Once daily, Vralar is proven to treat depressive, acute manic, and mixed episodes of bipolar one in adults. Full spectrum relief for all bipolar one symptoms. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. High cholesterol and weight gain and high blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Sleepiness and stomach issues are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. You are greater than your bipolar one. Ask about Raylar and learn how AbV could help you save. Now is the time to transform your home. It's time for new energy-efficient replacement windows from Champion. Right now, every Comfort 365 window style is 40% off. At Champion, we make buying new windows easy. Unlike some other companies, we control every step of the process. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. Upgrade your home and get 40% off all styles. Call now or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. Did you know there are surfaces in your home that look clean, but a closer look shows there are often layers of invisible dirt left behind? Try Mr. Clean Magic Eraser for a deep down hygienic clean. Magic Eraser removes the messes you can see as well as more of the dirt and grime you don't. All you do is wet, squeeze, and start erasing dirt and grime all around the house. And try Magic Eraser Sheets for a deep clean in hard to reach places that you can toss when you're done. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser for a deep down hygienic clean all around the house. Do you have hundreds or even thousands of emails sitting in your inbox? Monday, we have expert tips to help you hit delete on your digital clutter once and for all. And we have another heat wave on the way. We'll be planning out your day Monday morning from 4.30 to 7. You are watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. As of January this year, there are around 6,000 dairy farms right here in America's dairy land, but that number is down by a third from 2014. One reason for that is trying to find people to work on a family dairy farm. It's hard work. On the other hand, Wisconsin's cows are producing more milk than ever. Here's why. The Hinchley Dairy Farm has stood on this land in eastern Dane County for generations. Dwayne and Tina Hinckley are the current caretakers of these 2,500 acres. They bought the farm from Dwayne's parents, Keith and Ruth, in 2000. You're going to get me choked up because we think about them every day. They would be so passionate and happy about what we have done. We are improving their legacy. And they are doing that with these. There we go. Robots. The Hensleys have joined a growing number of dairy farmers going high-tech, installing robotic milking machines. It's an expensive investment. The Hensleys spent $3 million on a new barn with all the tech, but milk production here has increased. Here's how it works. The cows decide when it's time to be milked. When nature calls, the ladies line up, waiting their turn to enter the machine. So the robot is going to prep them by brushing off their udder. After it does that, it's going to spray those brushes with hydrogen peroxide and then it's going to sanitize her. Anytime you're touching the cow's udder, you're stimulating it and it's going to encourage her to let down her milk. Guided by lasers, the computer knows everything about each and every one of the 240 cows being milked thanks to a sensor around the cow's neck. So this girl, 
Her name is Swinger, and she's been milking 296 days. She's three years old, and she's 152 days pregnant. She's coming in three times a day, okay. and her goal right now is over 90 pounds. That's 90 pounds of milk a day from one cow. Talk about happy cows. They sleep on water beds. Foggy machines keep them cool. Food is always available, and it's kept in the trough by a giant Roomba-looking like machine. The computer even monitors the health of the animals, analyzing 110 data points every time a cow comes through. So if her milk is thick, just like when we were prepping before, if it's thick milk or watery milk, it's going to identify it, and then it will come to our phone or go to the computer. So it's going to acknowledge all different health issues with her as she's going through. UW Ag professor Doug Reineman is a milking machine specialist. He says in a normal farm, the cows are rounded up two or three times a day to get milked by hand. And it's, it really disrupts their, their activity. And, and, you know, cows are very social creatures, so it kind of disrupts their social networks. <laughs> but in a robotic milking barn, the cows have, they control their own movement. And that seems to be a real positive uh, uh, for the cows. Happy cows and happy farmers. My shoulders are recovering, my, my hips and my knees, because I literally bent down and milked 140 cows for nine hours a day, every single day. But robots do not eliminate the human element of farming. It really requires a higher level of management skill. And it's a different kind of management because, you know, a person does need to be there to provide uh, uh, attention to the cows that need it. This is the future of farming. And the future of this farm is right there. Daughter Anna, a recent UW Dairy Science grad, she's now working full time on the farm and will inherit it one day, ready for 21st century dairy farming. Outside of Cambridge, I'm Mark Kane, News 3 Now. Like most technologies, the price of robotic milking machines should come down in the future. Now, the Hinchleys do offer public tours of their farm. You can go to dairyfarmtours.com for more info. Okay, heat wave is coming to southern Wisconsin. Our meteorologist Dana Fulton joins us now with more. It is about to get a little hotter outside. A friendly reminder to keep an eye on all of our four-legged friends over the next few days. It's just going to be a little toasty. Once things start to get a little more acclimated to the heat by the middle of the summer, it's not quite as much of a shock to their system, but it's still, we're, we're approaching that line where things uh, get dangerously hot, especially with our heat index readings climbing up over the next few days. Right now we're at 77 in Madison. Notice off to the west, that warm air still keeping the Twin Cities right now in the upper 80s, close to 90. Their dew points near 70. Our dew points rising just in the last uh, about few hours. Uh, we're in the low 50s right now. We were in the low 40s earlier this evening, and, and we're expecting a little more of a, a more humid and, and toastier set up for us for the start of your work week. Doppler track should stay quiet. We're not expecting any storms to build in, but this is what's coming. Northwest of La Crosse right now, heat advisories for Monday. Nothing for southern Wisconsin right now, but we're expecting those temperatures again to, to build in as we look ahead to Monday and Tuesday. Overall, the 10-day includes a mostly dry stretch. Really not concerned about any rain chances building in until the very end of the work week. And even once we back off those high temperatures heading into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's still going to be quite warm outside and still above average. Our breeze coming in from the south, temperatures overnight dropping to the mid-60s. Afternoon highs for Monday expected to land in the low 90s with heat index readings in the middle to upper 90s. Overnight into Tuesday, it will be mild outside. will only fall to the mid to upper 70s. Could have some patchy fog to start off the day on Tuesday. And then high temperatures in the afternoon will be in the middle 90s. Uh, right now, overall, it looks like a, a mostly sunny sky for us on Tuesday, but something we'll be keeping an eye on because of that humidity factored in. Uh, we could be looking at a small chance for, for an isolated shower off to the west. Mostly hot and humid uh, for us for Monday and for Tuesday. So alert days in the forecast right now. Again, heat index readings really expected to climb up as we look ahead to Tuesday afternoon, the hotter of the two days. Beyond that, we're still trending above average with our temperatures for the start of July. We back out of the 90s, but it's still going to be a little warm outside. 92 the high for tomorrow, partly sunny, hot and humid. Alert days in the forecast for Monday and for Tuesday. Tuesday Tuesday will be in the middle 90s. That is the first day of summer, and it is going to feel like summer outside. We're in the mid to upper 80s for Wednesday and Thursday. A small chance for some showers and thunderstorms Thursday night. A better chance expected for us on Friday and Saturday. And then we transition back to a drier trend next week.
I feel like this has been the uh, year of extremes so far in 2022. It really, really has. We have had some some big swings yeah. come through, and. Um, we talk about extremes as far as when we're building our forecast, those are the events that we're most concerned about. When we yeah. have those higher temperature days that people aren't acclimated for, aren't prepared for, uh, they're sparking up those bigger weather events. It's the extremes that, that are, are they're really changing things right now. Well, thanks, Dana. And make sure to tune in. They, they do a tremendous job all week long in keeping us updated. So. All right. We'll pay you later. Thanks, yeah. guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> that, was, uh, that, was, <laughs> that was definitely a little, uh, put that in a commercial somewhere. Yeah, later. right, right, right. <laughs> thanks, Dana. All right. More than 100 vintage cars took to the streets of Rome. Highland this weekend to kick off the annual Great Race. Thousands gathered at Rocky Point State Park to cheer on the teams at the start of the race yesterday. Now, each car has two people inside, a driver and a navigator, and their car must be made before 1974. Drivers will race through 19 cities across 10 states before reaching the finish line, which is in Fargo, North Dakota. We've spent hours just trying to practice. Not sure if it's all going to work out, but we're hoping. Another note, this is not a speed race. Instead, the 120 teams are now scored on how precisely they follow more than 200 course instructions each day. All right, three majors down, one more to go this season. We have more from this year's U.S. Open and the epic finish coming up in sports. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> oh. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. Hey, this one's free. Car in front of you pay for it. The best things in life are free. <laughs> Just wait till she hears about free installation from Feldco. <gasps> free installation? <laughs> free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest until 2024. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends soon. Call now. Full quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. Who says you can't get 100% whiter teeth? Try Crest Whitening Emulsions. Remove 10 years of stains in just four days. And it's enamel safe for everyday use. Better, faster, 100% whiter teeth. Crest, the number one teeth whitening brand in America. Got lingering odors? Grab Febreze Small Spaces. Press firmly to activate, and Small Spaces continuously eliminates and prevents odors to freshen up any small room for up to 45 days. Febreze. La, 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 la. Sarah Godlewski leading the fight. Between Roe v. Wade, paid family leave, affordable child care, and affordable senior care, if you had more women at that U.S. Senate table, they'd be prioritizing things like that. Sarah Godlewski, straight talk about Ron Johnson. We do not want politicians like Ron Johnson making health care decisions for women and affecting our freedom. Sarah Godlewski, the best chance to rid the Senate of Ron Johnson. I'm Sarah Godlewski. I approve this message. Dude, great ride. Right? This Silverado keeps me connected and in control. And this touchscreen is my command center. Uh... Hmm. My command center. The 2022 Silverado LT. Find new control. Find new roads. Well-qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. It's Make My Mondays at Hy-Vee. This Monday, get six packs of Pepsi products, only $1.48. Hy-Vee macaroni and cheese, only 19 cents. Oscar Mayer bologna, only $1.99. And Craven flavor ice cream, bars, or sandwiches, only $1.99. Monday only. For more ways to save on hundreds of items every day at Hy-Vee, check out our monthly catalog, our weekly ad, and scan the QR code to visit hyveedeals.com for even more deals. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> oh. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. Brewers finally got their job back after.
after a rough few weeks. Already earned a series win over the Reds with the help of Willie Adamas and Hunter Renfro. And now the last order of business is a sweep. And the last time the crew did that, it was the first week of May, and it was against the Reds. Now scoreless into the fourth inning, then Luis Urias gets it started with an RBI double. But how about some more run insurance? Victor Caratini takes care of that with a two-run blast, and then Hunter Renfro, he puts this game away for good with a two-run tank. His third straight game with a homer. Brucker win this one 6-3. to three. They sweep the Reds on Father's Day, and now they get to come home. Mallards beginning a two-game series with the Doc Spiders today. Not their day. Mallards fall 4-3 to three in Game 1. Series heads to Fond du Lac. Second game is tomorrow night at 635, and right now the Mallards are nine and a half games back. Fitzpatrick just knows how to get it done in Brookline. Nine years ago, he won the U.S. Amateur on this very course, and today he is crowned the winner of the 122nd U.S. Open, which marks his first major victory. Not an easy task getting to that trophy. The final round of the tournament, specifically the back nine, saw a tight race between him, Will Zalatoris, and the Masters champ, Scotty Scheffler. Holding the lead on 18, Fitzpatrick lands in the bunker, but is able to find the green and eventually putt for par to win it all. Having won the U.S. Amateur here as well, I just felt so comfortable around this place. Uh, nowhere to hit it, nowhere to miss it. Um, and, um, yeah, just happy to be uh, unbeaten around this place. The feelings out of this world, it's, um, it's so cliche, but it's stuff you dream of as a kid. And, uh, yeah, to achieve it, uh, I can retire a happy man tomorrow. The final major of the PGA Tour season is coming up. The Open Championship tees off on July 14th. And in Formula One, Formula One, the Canadian Grand Prix taking place earlier. What a finish in Montreal. Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz, they're neck and neck for a majority of this race. I think it comes down to the final lap. Looks like Sainz could edge out Verstappen, but it's a no-go on that one. Verstappen kicks it in high gear, wins it all. Sainz and Lewis Hamilton earn a spot on the podium with second and third place finishes. Now, Ryan McDonough and crew head back to Tampa for Game 3 of the Stanley Cup playoffs down 0-2 to the Avalanche. So tomorrow night will prove to be a crucial one. The Lightning want a shot at 3 peating. Puck drops at 7. Have you got a chance to ever go to Omaha for the College World Series? No, I have that. not. And it was actually on my bucket list a couple of years ago. COVID ended up happening, so yeah. I wasn't able to go. But it is still, still there. Have you been? Yes, 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 yeah, and it is, for anyone that likes baseball, it, we're both big Base, baseball, baseball fans, baseball, baseball. you should go, and, and I tell, I implore you, Jordan, to someday make it there, it's really It fun. is on my sports bucket list to yeah. do it, so. It's going on right now, and there were some actually great local stories last year, um, so it was, uh, hopefully, tune in and, and enjoy it if you get the chance, right? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. We don't, we don't have any Wisconsin, we don't have, <laughs> the university doesn't have a team, so we don't. I know, I know, but so. That's but, all right. That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> We'll make hey. do. Thank you, Jordan. We're going to be right back. No. Come on, him. I like him. Ah! Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker and is two times more absorbent so you can use less. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Are you tired of clean clothes that just don't smell clean? Downy Unstoppable's in-wash scent boosters keep your laundry smelling fresh way longer than detergent alone. If you want laundry to smell fresh for weeks, make sure you have Downy Unstoppable's in-wash scent boosters. And I walked right into U.S. Cellular and I said I want to choose any phone in here for free. What'd he say? He said, sure. Really nice guy. I had my pick of any phone from any brand, free, even the newest ones. Wow. Yeah. You got the big screen? Yeah. Big storage? Yeah. Fits in your pocket. Fits in my pocket. You know, it's a big phone, and that's what I wanted, and I got, I got what I wanted. At U.S. Cellular, everyone can choose any phone free, new and current customers. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. There's a reason President Trump endorsed Tim Michaels for governor. I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who helped build a great Wisconsin company and created thousands of jobs. 
President Trump called Tim Michaels an America first conservative who will support the Second Amendment, honor law enforcement, and stand strong against the woke mob. If you want to see Madison turned upside down, then I'm asking for your vote. Tim Michaels, endorsed by President Trump for governor. Once upon a time, before Jill said yes, she learned she had IBS-C and could treat it with Linzess. That's why some things helped, but her constipation with belly pain would often return. Maybe there was another way, or something left to learn. When her doctor connected the belly pain, discomfort, and bloating to IBS-C, it made sense to Jill. So did learning that she could treat it with a once-daily pill. And that's why she said yes to adding Linzess. Linzess is not a laxative. It helps you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and is proven to help relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. Do not give Linzess to children less than two. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Could your story also be about IBSC? Talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Learn how AbbVie and Ironwood could help you save on Linzess. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Corgi owners from around the world travel to San Francisco this weekend for CorgiCon. It's the first time the gathering has taken place since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Hundreds of small, stubby dogs and their owners gathered at Ocean Beach. Oh, my goodness. For those races that you're seeing, some group photos and much more. CorgiCon started back in 2014 with dogs and their owners gathering every single July and October. Oh, my goodness. I might just go as a spectator. I mean, like, how cute are they? How do you not stop and pet that during that race? Oh my gosh. So, so cute. cute. So cute. So fluffy. So happy. We're here for so it. So constantly happy. Yes. We're here for Corgi. And we love dog. Yeah, all yes. the dog content. All on the this. dog content. Yes. <laughs> we, actually, some nights it'd be nice if we could just do that for 30 minutes. But, yeah. but so, we have actual news to talk about. Yes. I have alert days to talk about. Sorry, guys. It's going to get hot outside tomorrow. We have heat index readings, mid to upper 90s, and the low triple digits on Tuesday for the first day of summer. So stay hydrated. Make sure you stay cool. Just be mindful of the heat. And we'll see a little bit of a pullback there for those times the back half of the week. All right, everyone. Stay cool this week and have a great rest of your night.